Okay, so tonight we are, I am making Father Eric's favorite new dish, spicy sausage and rice, courtesy of Gordon Ramsay. And here's all the ingredients, onion, pepper. Um, we have Italian sausage hot tonight. I usually use turkey. So don't tell Dr. Bird that I have Italian sausage tonight. They didn't have any tur turkey sausage. And this is everything you need. Yep. Okay. So we have one roughly chopped yellow pepper. You could do green. You could do red. And a red onion. Roughly chopped. Doesn't have to be pretty. Tomato. And that's probably about four green onions. And we're going to start with a tablespoon of olive oil and no more. Um, we're going to put the onions in there and cook them for about five minutes. And then we're going to add the peppers and the garlic. Right now we're getting the oil hot. All the olive oil. Okay, so the oil's nice and hot. Hopefully we'll hear a sizzle and the onions go in undramatically first. And we're going to stir those around and cook them for about five minutes. And then we're going to add the peppers. Alright, so we've been cooking the onions at a medium heat for about five minutes. Now we're going to add the peppers and garlic. And my husband tells me I didn't tell you about garlic. Well, you need garlic. You need about two cloves of garlic, however you want to do it. Thinly sliced or out of a jar, like I do mine. And we're going to cook this around for about two minutes. Okay, we have a pound of sausage. And this is hot Italian spicy. And you're going to put that in the pan. And you're going to remember to take the paper off the bottom. Because it doesn't taste good. And you're going to cook that and brown it with your onions and peppers and garlic. And you're going to cook that until, you know, it's cooked. But there you go. All right, so the, ham the sausage is brown. And we're going to put in a heaping, a teaspoon, teaspoon of paprika. And then we'll stir it around. And we're going to put in one cup of uncooked rice. And stir it around and get it to start sucking in all those yummy flavors. And, and then we'll stop for a minute. Okay, so now we're going to de deglaze the pan, which you know, I didn't use a cast iron pan, so it doesn't need to be deglazed, but it's white wine, so I'm putting it in. And I'm just going to let that. Cook down for a few minutes, and then we'll go on to step 52. How's it smell? Smells pretty yummy right now. <laughs> so now the wine has reduced out, and we're going to put in two cups of chicken broth. Mmm, yum yums. And it's starting to smell kind of good in here. So there we go. So now we're just waiting for the rice to cook. About 20 minutes. I'm gonna put the lid on it. I'm gonna put it down on simmer. I'm gonna make sure it stays lit. And we're gonna cook it for 20 minutes. Cause All right, it's been 20 minutes. The rice is ready. Come take a look there. Sweet thing. Yummers. It's just yummy. So now we're going to gently fold in tomatoes. I'm going to rock out to a little blend here. And some green onions. And dinner. Yeah. It keeps really well, and it's actually better the second day. 
let everything sit in and soak together overnight in the refrigerator. Very good. That's it. And since it's Italian, glass of red wine with it, whichever you prefer, or perhaps you're a Coca-Cola person, go for that too. Yum. And remember, you can use turkey sausages just as good and healthier. And healthier. But we don't care about that right now. Just don't tell Dr. Bird. Okay, don't tell Dr. Bird. Bye.